some pull-ups here today. I'm just gonna give a few of my important tips, okay, when doing pull-ups. So a lot of times they're done incorrectly. So using an assistance band is great, especially if you want to be able to slow yourself down, really feel the form, really engage the muscles. You wanna let your back do most of the work because it's a pull-up, it's a back exercise. So by keeping the elbows in and underneath the bar versus flaring out, is going to help work the back muscles, work your lats. And in order to get the lats into a full range of motion, you wanna make sure that you fully extend after each rep. So you're using the lats and you're not using your arms. A little depression of the scapula before each rep. So you wanna make sure that your shoulders aren't shrugged up into your ears. That little, there's that little bit of depression and that pulling down before you start each rep. So one foot can go in the band that you have looped. And then you'll just place that other foot in front, <clears throat> extending the legs down, finding stability here and engaging your abs when you do these. I'm going to go with a more narrow um, grip here, so just about shoulder distance, and I'm going to keep it overhand for now to keep a little less on my biceps. Abs are tight, depressing that scapula, pulling down. Breathe in, and then on that breath out, I'm going to start to use my back muscles and pull my body up. Make sure to retract there in my shoulder blades. So the elbows are coming in, I'm pulling down and back, making sure I'm not rounding in that upper back as I come up. Bring the scapula down, full extension. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, almost as if I'm pinching something right in between my shoulder blades. We'll go for one more. So big squeeze in those back muscles, making sure at the top of that movement that we're not rounded and hunched. We're going to that full extension. We're keeping that control, keeping the core nice and engaged.